I'm, I'm going to call this meeting to order. It's 5.07 p.m. Uh, this is the uh, Swayze Parkway trustee meeting for January. So introductions first. To my left, Mr. Darius Thompson. He is vice chair. To my right, uh, Mr. Dave Short. Next thing on the agenda, and I, I did tell Dave before we started that my New Year's resolution is to try and get all of these minutes approved after each meeting so we don't have this big backlog, and I apologize for that. So uh, start with the 921 meeting. Did anybody note any errors or omissions in that? That's fine. None? None. Okay. So uh, I'll entertain a motion to accept. Second. A motion to accept the minutes? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, the 1019 minutes, that's the site walk. Uh, anybody note any errors or omissions in that? No errors or omissions. None. So I entertain a motion to accept. So moved. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that passes. Uh, the November 16th meeting, anybody note any errors or omissions? No. None. Make a motion to accept those minutes. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 And the November 29th meeting. And anybody note any errors or omissions in that one? Motion to accept those? No, no, no errors, no omissions. Motion to accept was noted, yeah. sir? Yeah. Uh, second. Discussion? Discussion. All those in no, favor? One, one discussion. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, per a personal order, I would like to say thank you to Daniel Hoyer for taking meticulous and copious um, minutes. It is um, very much appreciative, and I just wanted to say thank you from, I may speak for the rest of the trustees, but I really want to say thank you for your work. It's uh, very important, and just thank you. No, absolutely. I've had uh, communications with him, and he, he does do, he does a great job. I actually wish he would come and do, uh, do our site walks. <laughs> but, no, he does a great job, and, and, uh, and he's very good at it. He's so. He's been the best minute taker since I've been involved in town boards. Yeah, and he does it all from the uh, video. Yeah. Yes, uh, that's so. uh, high, efficient, effective, and just... He's very accurate. Yes, so just want to thank you. Yes, thank you, Dan. So uh, it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, there was one more meeting that was posted, that was the uh, public meeting uh, to go over the parkway closure. That was a procedural meeting for the select board, but we did not have a quorum there, so there was no meeting. So if you see it on the website, that's why. Uh, there are no minutes to that, and uh, we didn't need to do that. Next item on the agenda is the public comment. Uh, there is nobody here other than us and the select board rep, so no public comment at this point. Uh, next item on the agenda, and most of these are, are place marks so that we mm -hmm. don't lose track of these. Right. Uh, the planning along the fence behind the Harris Center. Uh, I know that was part of the uh, October site walk meeting. Uh, I, Dave, I wanted to ask you, I, I think if we just, again, I, I know we talked about some plant material, but uh, you know we have to get those stumps ground. But I think if we just get some plant material and uh, go off of the original drawing, we should be okay. Would you concur with that? And we can, Darius, I concur. I, I think we had, we had talked about that. So uh, again, we won't look at that until probably April. Mm -hmm. I would say right. Uh, so. Maybe we can, maybe we can just get a, a plant material list together, uh, and act, and measure that again. I I don't th I think we we decided on about a half a dozen plants for down there. Right. So all right. Uh, 
Next item on the agenda is the tree and shrub pruning. The shrub pruning we can't do until they get finished with, uh, with the uh, sewer project down in the parkway because most of those uh, shrubs that need to be pruned are in that area. Uh, I think it's probably the, the same with the trees, but... Uh, I, think, I think the shrubs, though, there's probably a third of them at least that are outside that area. There are there are some, yeah. It's just that with the road blocked off, you know, they nobody's going to be able to get. Well, they can turn drive down in, turn, drive in and turn around and go back out the way they came in, <laughs> right? <laughs> they can start practicing for the future. Uh, I just you know I, at, I, at the rate at the rate they're going, we're not going to get it done before spring rolls around. And it'd be much better to do it all while it's dormant than right. Uh, let me let me let me think about that a little bit and and talk to talk to some people uh, about that. But uh, I I do have a contract. I do have pricing, uh, and everything looks good. So we're just kind of waiting uh, for that to uh, have. Have they? Do you know? Have, there. have they even completed the first bore? Under the no, river yet? no, that's the next item on the agenda, which I, I called today. I, I have been down uh, occasionally. Uh, there's a delay in the project because they hit ledge under the river. So they, and I talked with uh, the town engineer today, they've drilled from the parkway side, but they have to set up on the other side and drill uh, from the other side to meet that hole, and then they have to get another special drill to bore out the ledge a little bit bigger before they can pull a pipe. So uh, the thought was at the construction meetings that they would be all done with the boring uh, by about the end of January. I don't think that's going to happen now uh, because of the way that has to go, and, and they're trying to get all that done uh, to run the 12-inch pipe through the uh, yeah, but how many first? How, how many bores are they going? Aren't there three pipes going under? There were there were three pipes. Uh, there are supposed to be three pipes. I think they have two of them put together uh, in the parkway at, at the moment. But uh, I think uh, I, I don't know how the, this this challenge is going to uh, work with that project. So that's at this that's point, not, that's at this why point. I'm wondering if. Um, we just got to kind of do as much as we can. Well, you, you can check with them, see what they say, but um, there's, there's certainly not a lot of equipment moving around down there or anything like that where there's any issue of people clashing. Yeah, n no. While no. working and stuff uh, like that. I think where they're boring... Is the most uh, is the most equipment they because they've had to have uh, a uh, kind of a slurry right to bore and they've had that big heater so uh, and I'm not sure because I think they were supposed to pull a pipe from the uh, other side of the river from the Potter House side uh, but it's just going to depend on when they get when they can get through that. Uh, that ledge that they hit, right. So, uh, but they're you know they're working in a fairly condensed area there. You know. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That, yeah. They are. They really you know they really are. So is your Dave is your question that could we possibly mark off an area that we can't get to just to, from a safety standpoint and then say okay from this marker on down we can do pruning that we need to on the areas that we can prune. Well, uh, while things are dormant, or are you also yeah. looking at from the coming from the other side as well. I think coming from both sides, as long as we don't interfere with what they're doing, um, we ought to we ought to at least take a look at that. Let me let me let me ask. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask because I don't want to be in their way either. Because uh, you know, right. again, I I know. Well, yeah, you predicated on not right. interfering with what they're doing. Right. I just know that. Uh, I I wouldn't say that. There's a there's a little there, there's. I think this has just been a, a, a wrench that's been thrown into the project, <laughs> because when I talked to the guy from Wright Pierce, the at first when they discovered this, 
they, they weren't sure if it was just a rock or if it was ledge. Uh, I, the, I, when I talked with the, one of the town engineers today, uh, it seems as though it's ledge, it's not a rock. And there was really no way, because I said, well, you know, did, couldn't you bore in, in the river to find out? And, but the explanation on that, I understand that's kind of impractical. I, I don't want to, you know, you don't want to bore a hole down and then the water will fill the hole and you're trying to bore the, through, the, through to the other side. And it's, it wasn't practical to be able to, to do that. So uh, it's, it's just been delayed. That's, that's what I know. Yep. Okay. Uh, Let's kind of update on both things, the pruning and the sewer project. Yeah, okay. and the, uh, the the trees, hopefully once they get they get all the things that they need done in there, we can get a tree person in there to address uh, well, I have to, some of that stuff that, mm -hmm. that we we uh, we did the site walk in October. Well, on that note, I've, I've talked to Curtis. Remember, we were discussing yep. about trying to come up with a a formula for for an ongoing relationship, yeah, um, with them to um, do the work down there, and I, um, you know, he he typically does a half day charge. Um, in this case, um, what we talked about maybe doing was having him charge. Four hundred dollars for the first hour, which would you know include getting there, getting set up, which is a job in itself, and um, obviously getting whatever work done that he can get done, and then three hundred an hour after that, um, and then see how that goes, see if it works for us, see if it works for him, and um, that would also kind of be predicated on, um, you know, him having the flexibility to, because a lot of times what we're going to need done down there is going to take maybe only a couple, three hours or something right. like that. Um, so, it, you know, let's assume he's working an eight-hour day all week long and he does a job where it only takes him maybe five or six hours. He's got two or three hours to kill. It works for him then to fill that slot, and um, it works for us because it helps keep our costs down. Um, so, but that would mean he would need, you know, like we couldn't call and then expect him to just show up. Correct. Right. But he would be there in a reasonable. I mean, Will doesn't mess around. Um, so I think I'd like to give that a try, and because we're, you know, it's we're going to need ongoing. Maintenance and I, correct, and I think it'll just be, you know, incumbent upon us then also to, um, you know, keep an eye on things and try to lump some some of the tasks that need to be done down there together instead of just doing them in onesies, twosies, and stuff like that. Right. Um, try to get package some things together for efficiency, for cost efficiency for us and work efficiency for him. That makes sense. There's no, I have no issues with that. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Let's, let's give it a try and, and see how it works. So would, would both of you be comfortable with me being the liaison to, to set that up so we don't have to go through the red tape of meeting and approving every time so yeah. something I, needs to be done? Yeah. I make a motion to do as discussed, and that will let you to serve as the liaison um, for making this arrangement. It makes it sense from a cost perspective. Um, so if that's a formal motion, I will just make a motion that we accept that. I'll second that. Okay. So it's been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Dave. Like I said, you know what? Let, I, there's so much pruning that needs to be addressed down there, and, and uh, right. Darius got it on video when we did the site walk. Right. And so, you know, I'm okay if he's got, you know, if he's got a half a day job and he wants to go down there. As, as you know, we can put that whole package together uh, and identify a lot of that stuff. So, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think that'll be that'll work out good. 
that, that way we'll get off the schneid, so to speak, and get some of this stuff done. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that brings us to other business. Um, the other business, I, I guess I will ask, well, I've asked about this before, is that we have the one project that's going on now. Now we have a Murphy's Law that comes into play. Oh, there's some ledge. So with that knowledge, there's another project that's coming up later at another point in time. Is that correct? There was another possibly possible another project. That's yeah. what I was told, yes. Um, I always like to try to plan ahead and think about that next project that's coming up, knowing that where they ran into ledge here, are they sharing that information with the upcoming project to know, oh, there might be some ledge where they have to put something else through and to start putting contingencies in place today to prepare for success for the future project. So it's kind of a question, but it's also a question. Uh, to, uh, I, I, I don't have an answer for that because again, we, we, we haven't had a construction meeting since they've hit this ledge. So right. uh, I, I, I don't know. Right. Uh, certainly I, I, would, <clears throat> I would hope that now that they know that there's a possibility of that being underneath there, if there's a, future project that needs to be done, they'll take that into consideration. And I don't know exactly where that uh, that last project or the project that was brought up when when I met with them last spring uh, would go, right. so. Uh, I'm only raising the question because there are select board rep is here and I'd like to have that relate to the board to relay that to the DPW, to relay that to, to start planning now that there might be ledge, and what is the contingency for that? Because when they do that project, the road will be closed, the Swayze Park will be closed again mm -hmm. um, for that project. So just. That does make sense. All right. Well, what, what about, I mean, that that's just one facet of it. I mean, yes. wh what about, um, the, the winter isn't such a critical month for people's enjoyment of the parkway. Mm -hmm. um, as spring approaches, um, is is there any sort of, like, I don't want to call it a drop-dead deadline, but, um, hey, guys, get the project done or pack it up and wait till next fall to start over again. For this one? Yes. No. no. Because, I mean, they, the, there doesn't seem to be any sense of urgency to what's taking place. Well, the, no, there... There, there, there is, there, there is a sense of. Well, I, I know because of the condition of the other pipe. Right. That if that were to go, that would be bad. Right. Yeah. So. I think it's best to get it done. But. So you, so in, in your opinion, they're they're aggressively, trying to get this thing, oh, yeah. finished up, yes. buttoned up, so that, things can kind of return to normal. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 and again, being at the, the two construction meetings, I would say that, uh, that absolutely, uh, you know, they, they, there has always been a sense of urgency to get this done. Uh, so I just think that I, they haven't had a construction meeting since uh, uh, sometime around the 1st of January. So we haven't all been together to, to ask some questions and talk about this. Uh, the only reason I know is because, like I said, I've been down there off and on and talked with Andy from Wright Pierce, and and uh, and you know they were they were. Uh, well, if you're if you're talking to them, I'm 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 fine with that. I yeah. I don't think we need to waste their time by meeting with them or anything like that. No, no. I as long as you're in contact and you can relay what you understand yep. to be going on. And you're comfortable with it? That's that's fine. Yeah, um, they just don't know, and and I don't know because I haven't asked. But I think it's been too soon. They 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 just don't have a, a date of when they'll get through with the first bore because that's really what they. But I mean, isn't isn't there more than one bore that has to take place? Well, there was supposed to be three pipes going in, uh, so. Uh, well, there's three pipes laying there. Yeah. So. Well, but now that once they get the first one through, 
again, I think everybody is, is kind of going, okay, now we know what we have to do. Yeah. So, you know, they'll drill from the parkway side, they'll drill from the other side. They, they need to make the hole a little bit bigger. And, and actually, I'm not sure what the other size pipes are. I know the, the one is 12 inch, but I think the other two are not as big. There's, yeah, there's different sizes yeah. lying there. So, yeah. but the 12 inch one is what they're supposed to be uh, pushing through first because of the possibility of failure of the current pipe that's, that's right. there. So, uh, well, so. The whole, the whole thing's kind of a remarkable project anyways. It actually. is, it's, I, it's been kind of interesting to you know, go down and, and spend a few hours, <laughs> uh, yeah. you know, uh, kind of watching and, and seeing how, how how they do that. So it, it has been. Uh, all right. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Well, just I, I greatly appreciate sand hogs and what they do. Uh, that's even bigger tunnels. But they're doing this on a smaller scale. But I appreciate what they're doing. Yeah. They're, I mean, you know what? I mean, they're down there in the cold and working every day. So mm -hmm. unless the weather's really bad, yeah. but uh, they've been there every every day. So. Uh, okay. Do you have any other business? This is just a food for thought thing. Is um, after seeing the flood down there a couple of weeks ago, should there be some thought given to starting to establish some sort of CIP? for a potential um, seawall, levee, whatever you want to call it, along Swayze. I was going to ask that question. So we're in the preliminary stages of having that conversation. You know, instead of some, instead of 15 years from now getting whacked right. with all of a sudden, like, holy cow, we got to spend $20 million if we still want the parkway. It has our attention. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I I was going to ask that also how we how we go about starting that conversation and possibly uh, you know seeing that that something because again I've I've read some reports I've heard you know that that could be a, a every high tide occurrence within 25 years and then I I've, I've uh, been told there's a report out that Newfields Road goes away in 100 years and we all know. You know, like we talked tonight, uh, that's not that far away, really. It sounds like it is, but it, it isn't. So, uh, well, when you saw the, the the last one, I mean, there was some pictures that yeah. were posted, but they didn't do it justice. No, I, I, I saw it at absolute high tide, and the fence that runs along the river, there was that much of the top yeah. showing. No, I I received yeah. a, a a tremendous amount of pictures and. And it was, I, I, have, I have never seen it that high. In fact, if you go down there, you can see where the, where the high tide had, had come into mm -hmm. and that debris is. And actually, uh, where those guys are, are boring, it's almost right to the, to the fence yeah. on that other side of the parkway. So well, the, it, road, the roadway was completely covered. Yeah, so yes. it did. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> do you have something else? Or? No, that's, I, I was going to, I wanted to, ask that question and bring that out. How do we start that ball rolling and think about it? Because, uh, well, and, it and in addition to Swayze Parkway, um, you know, those, the businesses, you know, Mc the McReel building. Right. And then some of the other businesses running up Water Street. I mean, they were putting sandbags. Right. At their doors. So there's, there's going to be an issue on that whole stretch. I'm sure, and it's not going to get better. So the conversation is started. Yeah. Good. Okay. One other, um, safety related issue to think about is uh, when I went to Ireland uh, several years ago along the Wild Atlantic Way, every 100 meters or so, um, there was a stand with a life preserver. So that should something unfortunate happen, there's a life preserver you could toss with a rope to somebody that's, you know, um, if we have these events and we haven't gotten there yet, we may, we may want to think about placing some of them along the river mm -hmm. every so often under the uh, safety along the harbor as well. Um, you know, hopefully that no one gets swept away or anything does happen. But if it does, there's at least something that you can help someone. Right. Um, you know, granted the river doesn't move that fast, 
but still. Well, it's, it's fast enough. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, it de moves. depending on and whether the tide's coming in or going out. That it's it's pretty quick there. And also to think about on the other side of the river as well, over by the powder house and so on. So, um, just something to think about from a safety general yeah. awareness. If you could pass it on to the select board, it'd be great. And with the potential capital improvement project of the seawall, if that's something that is discussed or looked at. Our, the fence along the parkway needs to be mended, repaired, replaced. Well, um, I, I, but yeah, I think that's even a yeah. You know, if you, you know, once once the seawall comes into a or the what they they call it the revetment. Once the revetment comes into the conversation, then I think that all of that comes in the you know the the fence and all of that. So. Uh, <laughs> We just, from my perspective, and, and you'll read that in the annual report, I touched on that too for, for the parkway. But yeah, when I got those pictures, I thought, you know, and, and then again, listening to some of the reports and all, uh, and I know Dave and I talked about the water being being up there. It was okay. How? Yeah, we need to get this, kind of like the ADA conversation. You know, we need to get that rolling, get that started anyways. So we, so. That's all I have. I'm done. Um, point of personal privilege, I'd like to say I have enjoyed working with you and on this. I know that your, your term is up, but I, I hope that you run again. Um, and I think you've done a fantastic job. We all work together very well. I also want to say thanks to, to the chair and as well as to our select board reps also. Uh, you guys are doing an amazing job, and I, want, I, for one, appreciate everything that you do that I don't see and everything that you do that I do see. So thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, and, and, the, uh, yep. and the same to you, Darius. Actually, it's funny we just talked about that tonight <laughs> before you get there. Uh, well. So all right. So motion to adjourn. Well, hold on. Next meeting. <laughs> Sorry. Wednesday would be February 22nd. I'll stay away from Valentine's Day. Is that all right? Does that work? Works yep. for me. All righty. And at 5 o'clock. And at 5 o'clock, yeah. Okay. That's the last order of business. All right. Yes, sir. So, I believe there's a motion that was uh, made prior to that? or Yep. Okay. The motion was made to adjourn? Is that yep. your motion? That's yep. Okay. All right, second. All right. Any discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So we adjourn at 5.35 p.m. Thank you, guys. Thank you for tuning in to Exeter TV. Exeter TV is the town's public and government access channels, available on Comcast channels 98 and 22. Channel 98 is your channel. If you have an idea for a program, want to host your own talk show, or submit a film, we're here to get your content on television. On channel 22, we bring you live and replay coverage of government meetings and other town updates. A third channel, Blue Hawk Media, is operated by SAU 16, and can be found on channel 13 with all your school sports, events, and meetings. You can watch Exeter TV online at exeternh.tv, Apple TV, and on Roku. Find us on social media for extra content. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell to get notified about live streams and new content. Tune in to our platforms every other Friday to watch the Exeter Bi-Weekly Report with recaps of recent events, updates from town departments, and messages from nonprofits in your area. If you head to our website, exeternh.tv, we invite you to sign up to our newsletter to receive monthly updates about new content, upcoming meetings, and more. We'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch Exeter TV and hope that you tune in to our other content as well.